Greetings guys, Soviet Gaming here. Today we are doing top 5 DPS characters of AFK Arena, finally! <laughs> Just keep in mind that this is personal opinion, you might agree with that or not, write in the comments what do you think about this current setup. Number 5 will be Baden, because his summons are doing so much damage and he's so good for the boss fights that you can't underestimate him. He is really good at uh, keeping enemies busy, he is good at keeping enemies dead and his DPS is really good. Also he is pretty started as a character, so he isn't easy to kill. He works well in conjunction with Belinda and other buffers, he works well as himself without other buffers, but yeah, his ability to summon those hordes of minions uh, that do insane amount of damage is really nice. Actually I got lucky and I got all of his equipment with the faction bonus, so he is even better for me. And yeah, his skill sets are pretty amazing, they are doing insane amount of damage and if you'll get the um, Spear of Decay, his uh, signature item, that will make phantoms even more healthy and they can tank even more damage. So top 5, Baden. By the way guys, if you are new to this channel and interested in AFK Arena and other idle gacha hero collector games or any other mobile games, make sure to subscribe to this channel and hit that bell button, this is really important. If you'll press it and press get all the notifications, you won't miss any videos, otherwise you might just lose it. Help me to get those 1000 subs, it's in your hands. <laughs> Number 4 goes to Gwyneth. I personally just have her as a lead and I haven't used her a lot, but I saw how powerful she is. I saw how she can decimate the back row of mages really easily with her fire attacks. If we we'll take a look at her signature item, it just buffs her damage when she is close to an ally, which is always happening because she is a damage dealer from the backline. And also she fires two arrows in a quick succession when she or nearby ally uses the ultimate ability. That's really good in conjunction with uh, Rowan, Berlinda uh, and, and all those Rosaline and uh, energy givers. She can just spam arrows because of that. And yeah, her fire arrow, it's just decimating the enemies and ultimate is doing away to all the screen. So she is really good, unlike I don't have her high enough to try, but I hope that she will be at my test account sooner or later and will give her a try. Number 3 goes to another light bear unit, Belinda. Belinda is one of the best damage dealers in the game. First of all, you get her for free when you level up, so you get the basic copy of her already in the beginning of the game. Second, she have got them crazy DPS when she is doing her ultimate in a quick succession. You can boost her with the raw one and Rosaline and she will be just spamming that like crazy. I'll show it to you in, on my test account. So over here we have Mythic Belinda, raw one and Rosaline. We can move them like this. That will be good enough. And uh, when we begin the battle, when she just starts her casting, when she's warming up, she's backing around with damage. That's really good. She can use... She can be used as a support unit as well for Shimira, I usually do that. And when she starts spamming her ultimate, that's when she opens, opens up. She is just decimating everyone. She can cast it non-stop because she can kill someone with that. It's doing way higher damage than uh, Shimira's. And if used properly, it can decimate the enemies. She's considered to be one of the top DPS characters in the late game as far as I know. And when here we fight the enemies that are 50% stronger than we are and we are killing them because... Because that's how good the Light Bearer team is and that's how good Belinda is, because she is my main hero right now. On the test server. Number 2, Shimira. You might be asking why Shimira is number 2, she is so strong, she is so useful, everybody is saying that she is so good. Yes she is, but people say, I haven't got to that part yet, but people say at the campaign chapter 24 and higher, she is losing her effectiveness. So after that we have different hero who is on top 1. Um, but until then, Shimira can pull you through so many fights, you can't even imagine. My Shimira pulled me for 3 or 4 campaign chapters in a row when I just started using her. Her signature item is helping her with single target damage uh, and uh, she is getting stronger and stronger every time you level her up, every time you invest points in her. Her life drain and self-sustain is really good, she can be your tank, she can be your main DPS, she can do everything. If you'll feed her energy, she will decimate the enemy battlefield for me right now. If Shimira managed to launch her ultimate, you will win the battle 95% of the time. So she's good not only as AoE damage dealer, but a single target damage dealer as well. Really good hero, you won't regret putting points into her because she can pull you that far. And you might be wondering, who 
the hell is number one? Who is the best damage dealer in the whole game? Well, I'm not sure about that, but people say, and I think they are right, it's Feral. He is really underestimated in the early game, but as soon as he gets his signature item, <laughs> he is Elite Plus for me, so not yet. Sorry, as soon as he gets his signature item, he is becoming way more stronger. Normal attacks will cause an evil spirit to hound the enemy target if a critical strike occurs. That means one thing, that the critical and other than that, unlocks are even stronger, attack rating for enemies are reduced by some percentage and health recovery rates are reduced by some percentage for every spirit that is hunting an enemy on the battlefield. Can be stacked up up to 5 times. So just imagine, hunting an enemy team, they will lose attack, they will lose health recovery and uh, those spirits, they also stun enemies and they drain their energy. As you can see over here, any spirit which are summoned due to one of Feral's abilities have a chance to interrupt the enemy's attacks each time they attack them. So, those spirits, they take enemy energy, they stun the enemies, they do pretty good damage, and uh, Feral is not only doing crazy damage, he is also not letting enemies to be effective, it's postponing their ultimates and everything, and that's what makes him the best DPS hero so far. At least that's what I've heard, I'm not really sure about that. But yeah guys, write in the comments what do you think about that, because I'm not sure about the Feral and the heroes that I don't have. If you have a different opinion, let me know. And yeah guys, don't forget to subscribe to this channel, hit that like button, hit that bell button so you will get all the notifications about the new videos, otherwise you might miss them. And write in the comments what do you think about this top 5, do you want more? What do you think about the current one? Let me know. And that's about it for now, Soviet out, see ya comrades, bye.